if Francis Ngannou does indeed walk from the UFC, what is the story of his UFC career? Like, historically, is he a Hall of Fame fighter? Is he, like, where, where are we looking at? And let's just take a look real fast at, at, at the tape, right? Francis Ngannou, 17-3 and three in his MMA career. Um, we're looking at it. First decision win against Zero Gone, but knocks out Stipe, knocks out Rosenstruck, Junior Dos Santos, Cain Velasquez, Curtis Blades, Alistair Overeem, Andre Arlovsky, I mean, Anthony Hamilton, I mean, Curtis Blades twice, right? You know, the only losses he has on his career in the UFC are against Stipe and against Derek Lewis, and we're looking down, and you know, this is the second win of his of his fight uh, of his entire career, right there. You have a loss, but overall, man, when we're looking at the knockouts, eleven knockouts, five submissions, one decision, and in the UFC, it looks like he is uh, twelve and two in the UFC. He is a uh, he has one title defense to his name, but yeah, I mean, what is the story of a Francis Ngannou at the at the pinnacle of his career at the end of the the totality of his of his career if he does walk yeah it's 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 rough because i don't necessarily wouldn't consider him a you know a, a hall of fame fighter even though i do think he has that potential and he has that caliber i think he just needs to just stay a little bit more active it was a year since the last time we saw him fight so it's rough to say that he's in there you know with some of the greats although he's beaten a lot of the greats man he's beaten the alistair Overeems, the steeping miochis you know those those kind of fighters who we do hold in very very high regard and unfortunately, I don't know why, but Francis doesn't get the same kind of respect. It's crazy to say I, I, he really doesn't, though. He really gets a lot of the the snub. You know, he doesn't he doesn't get the respect he deserves. And I think it's a little bit both from maybe the 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 conversations they were having behind closed doors. That's why the media doesn't really promote him enough. But even for this fight, he wasn't promoting himself. He wasn't promoting himself enough. Nonetheless, just the fight. So I think he just needs to stay a little bit busier. Yeah. Where is his tenure lie right now? I do think he's one of the dangerous and scariest mans in the in the world and the planet fighting for sure, but that's not necessarily the highest acumen he has in his potential. You know, I do think he can go a little bit further, but right now he's just dangerous and scary, not necessarily yeah. the greatest. I do think that you probably have to give him the Hall of Fame nod, given just the status of the Hall of Fame right now. You know what I mean? Dudes like Kevin Randleman, you know, he's in there, right? And, you know, respect to the legend, the beast, that is Kevin Randleman. Uh, rest in peace on that one. But I just think that, like, given the knockouts that he's had, non-title fight related, just because Stipe and DC did hold up the heavyweight division for years, right? Let's not forget that. Um, I think that these Hall of Fame credentials are pretty much there, especially, if, you know, now you have the championship, you defended it once. Um, but I would, to be like that legit, like, oh, are you a GOAT? Are you one of the best heavyweights of all time yeah you need a couple more title defenses because john jones has what like 11 title defenses 15 titles something ridiculous right so until then john jones is pretty much the goat man but hey listen and still brother that's what we got to say about that francis and he got the dub <laughs>